Why in the world do you want Uncle Benedict wanted to restore this rotten old place? I can't think. Will you please remember, Blanche, that it's the Chateau Popino, our ancestral home? It was from the vaults beneath this house that, uh, that our ancestor first poured the Popino pair a feast down the throats of a delighted world. Not that so, Benedict? Yes. It would be unforgivable if, as a great wine-growing family, we were not content to live in the vineyards which have yielded us our fortune. Ten miles from the nearest town, and only rounds at that. How? Oh, do stop grumbling. Don't bother, I read that one. Give me Paris, and I'll go on the water wagon. I notice great-grandmama Popino prefers Paris. Yes. How do you explain that, Papa? My grandmother being 80, can please herself. And Grandpapa lives in Rome. And being over 60, I suppose she can please himself too. Yes, well, I'm not quite too sure about that. It's half past eight, Master Henry. The Paris train must be very late. What shall I do about dinner? Oh, I beg your pardon, Master Benedict. I didn't notice you were down. We wait for my father and my grandmother, Pierre. We wait. Very good, sir. Yes, yes. Father, do you think Grandpa's missed his train? No. Your great-grandmama will see to that. Blanche, it will be the first time in the history of our family that four generations have gathered under this roof at one time. Five? You're forgetting my offspring. Oh, yes, of course. A bit. Five. Counting your poppy nose before they're hatched. Perhaps Grandpa smelt a rat, and it's not going to walk into your trap. Oh, I dislike the word trap. There, there is no trap. What we're doing is, uh, is for our father's good. It's time he settled down. We fear he's not living a very reputable life in Rome. No. He's mixed up with a lady there, we understand. Why shouldn't Grandpa have a girl in Rome if he wants to? No. Well, he's a widower. Do you realize your grandfather is over 60? What's that got to do with it? A bright 60, a man's a boy. A dull 40 and he's a Methuselah. Why shouldn't he have a dash? Have a dash? Well, he only needs 30 odd for game. Well, hello, Mother. Henry, your grandmama is late. I wonder if she's not coming, after all. Oh, she'll come all right. Our telegram said urgent family business. Yes. I'm not sure we ought to have told grandmama the real reason why we wanted her to bring Papa with her. Goodness, and she let him know that we'd arranged for him to spend the remaining years of his life here. He'd have run like a hare. Not a bad judge either. Really, Blanche. Well, I can't understand why Grandpapa shouldn't be allowed to live in Rome or wherever he likes. Oh, Mummy, Mummy. Yes, darling. Great-great-grandmama's here. And great-grandpapa, too. I saw their car. Hi. You boys there. Your grandmother is here and your father, too. It's wonderful to see Master Charlie again. Wonderful. Here we are, darling. Hooray, we are home again. Hooray. Hello, hurrah. I wonder where old Pierre is. That's right, Pierre. Come on down, you old devil. Hello, mother. Come on, hurry up. Oh, what a child you are. Never mind, mother. Don't get fussy. Now, come along there. You are my pet. Well, hello, Pierre. Madam, can I help you? No, no, no. I can manage, Pierre. I can manage. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Oh, Pierre. Madame Josephine Popino. Good evening, everyone. I am happy to be back. Yeah. We are late. You are all here? Henry. Oh, Grandmama. And your wife, whose name I never can remember. Stephanie, Grandmama. Yes, yes, of course, Stephanie, thank you. And Blanche? And Suzanne? I want great grandpapa. Bring the child to me. No, I want great grandpapa. Bet. Kiss your great great grandmama. My pet. You are up late. My fault. Take her to bed. No, I want great grandpapa. I'm contradicted. We are not pleased. Benedict. I'm glad to see you, grandmama. Oh no, you're not. <laughs> I want great grandpapa. You want a spanking? That's what you want. Oh no, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. Oh no, I oh, don't. Yes, you do. I think this is a horrible child. Where is Charles? What a dawdler he is. 
Charlie, my boy. Yes? Your mother wants you. All right, old fellow, I'm coming. Here we are. Oh, Pierre. Oh, my dear fellow. Oh, dear old Pierre. Yes. Hello. You've been doing the old place up, I see. Charles. Yes, Mama? I hope you've not been overpaying the chauffeur. Oh, yes, darling, I always do then. Oh, there you are. Hello, her nurses. Your great-grandchild. My heavens, I'd forgotten I was a great-grandfather. How are you, my darling? What is <laughs> mm, You are pretty. Touch not. Touch one. I'll have you touch that. Here I am. Come on. Where did I go wrong? Charles! Yes, Mama? Your boys. Oh, yes, Mama. Oh, help. Papa! My dear fellow, what on earth have you done to your hair? Oh, yes. I see. I see. You know, Mother, he should never have gone in for the law. He looks like an affidavit. Benedict! My father. My firstborn. No, no, don't kiss me. For heaven's sake, don't. You know, you look perfectly awful. Please remember, sir, I'm not as young as I used to be. Well, but none of us are. Don't go make a fuss about anything like that. I mean, after all, age is only a state of mind. Don't go and make it a horrible state. Be bright, you know. Be merry. No, no, you don't look as if you could. Well, have your own way, my boy. <laughs> oh, Stephanie. Stephanie, you look perfectly charming. And look, there's my little Suzanne. Come here, Suzanne. My darling, you look too divine. Oh, yes. And Blanche. Blanche, you know, you've grown perfectly marvellous. Let's have a look at you. You know, I always say that there's nothing so wonderful in the wide world as a young girl blossoming into womanhood. I thank you, my darling, for having grown so beautiful. Charles. Yes, Ma? Shut up. Yes, Ma. And now perhaps you'll tell me why you dragged me back from Paris. And me from Italy? Urgent family affairs, my telegram said. So did mine. Shall we eat or talk first, Grandmama? Dinner is ready at the moment you are. Thank you, I dined on the train. So did I for my sins, or for the legs of a chicken that had walked from Paris to Boulogne. We'll talk. Yes, come on, you nobleman, let's hear all about it. I'm only staying the night, you know. I go away the first thing in the morning. We, we don't, don't think, think so. so. What is that? Oh, oh no. no. I know of nothing important that could take you back to Rome. No, of course not, Mother Darling. Of course not. You are a free man, aren't you? Of course I am, darling. Of course I am. That's all right, then. Who has a cigarette? Oh, uh, what, uh, what sort do you like, my pet? Give me a stinker. Ah, here we are, then. And now, what about a bottle? A bottle, Mama, you said it. Hello, dear, come on, now we go to the cellar. I said, you know that it's ten years since I was locked down now? It's 55 since I first carried you there. Really? Well, come on then, hop up. <laughs> you naughty boy. <laughs> naughty boy, you are a funny boy. Oh, don't go, baby! Be quiet. Don't go. That child's eating something. No, I have. Yes, you have. No, I have. Yes, you have. Give her a powder. No, you take a powder. What? Horrible child. And now, perhaps, you'll kindly inform me what you mean by urgent family business? Well, Grandmama, we wish to know whether you approved of our reason for restoring um, the old house. Let me hear it. In order that our father should have a nice resting place for his old age. Yes. yes. And the reason? Uh, there are very serious reasons why we should keep father with us here from now on. Has a disaster occurred? Yes, Grandmama. The life he's leading in Rome is disgraceful for a man of his age. Oh? What's he been up to? He has a mistress in Rome. What, only one? Yes, but she's ruining him. Already he's squandered a third of his fortune on this woman. Pierre, yeah, my dear fellow, this um, cellar's upside down. It's positively indecent. Look here, look at it. Here are the 14s reposing with the 23s. And, uh, and look here, I trouble you. Look where the 21s are spending the weekend. Of course, you know, I'm fairly broad-minded, but, um... So you see the position. Yes, and it is very serious. The Popano fortune is quite another affair. It is a trust and cannot be tampered with. Stephanie, leave us. But why? You are only a Popano by marriage, and things may become hectic. Oh, Henry, must I go? <laughs> Grandmama has never been disobeyed. Oh! Henry, you have 
the backbone of a convalescent silkworm. I'm not quite sure I like your wife. No, neither am I. Well, it's quite settled. From now on, your father lives here. Really, my dear fellow, Benedict, your cellar's in the most awful condition I think I've ever seen anything. Perfect muddle from beginning to end for two pins, you know. Charles? Yes, ma? Sit down. What's the matter, darling? Sit down. Is anything wrong? I want to see your face. Is it as bad as all that? What's the matter? If you must know, Papa, we are very worried about you. Time is going on, and you've reached a certain age. That's all right. I, um, I haven't reached it yet. Oh, you sure? Well, I ought to know. Your children feel it's time they began to look after you. What, these two? My hat. I beg your pardon, Mother. Of course, you know, in my opinion, Papa, you're aging rapidly. I'm what? Aging. I'm getting older. And no wonder. I say, is this a joke? It's no joke, sir. Why do you live in Rome? You have no friends there well, that we know of. No, I can't do that. I make friends wherever I go. For two years we have not seen you. You never even come to a yearly board meeting. May we inquire what you do with your time? Oh, certainly. I collect moths. Now, how is it, may we inquire, Papa, that you have spent one third of your capital in the last two years? And that the Popino chairs are on the market for the first time in history? Yours, I presume, Charles? Well, Mother, if you want to know, they are. I mean, see, I can't take them with me. They say they don't uh, drink where I'm going. You're concealing something from me. Child, look me in the face and tell me the truth. You know, I'm always more lenient with you when you don't tell lies. Oh, Mother, don't go on like this, really. Honestly, I do mean I'm in front of my own children. I mean, really. Even though they do look comic. I refuse to say where I live or what I do. Henceforth, you'll do what I tell you. Mother, for the first time in my life, I say no. What? What? No. Your boys need their father. They've made this house into a home for you for your old age. Old age, Mother? Are you all cracked? Your mother has decided that you end your days here. Oh, really? Oh, that'll be perfectly grand. That is grand. I suppose you'll, uh, you'll teach me to knit. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, the wine, dear. Put it on the table. Look here, Mother. I've no intention whatever of ending my days anywhere at the present moment. And when I do, it won't be here. I leave tomorrow first thing, and these two noblemen won't see me for dust. Oh, ah, that's the stuff. Look at it. The wine of France makes you dance. The wine of France, it makes you dance. Charles. The wine of France, the wine of France. Yes, Mother Downey? Don't sing. All right, my pet. The wine of France, it makes you dance. The wine... Oh, I beg your pardon, Downey. There. Yeah. You never could sing. No, I know that. Down the cottage by a wood that is the maiden whose goods you never had called. Quiet. All right, Downey. Come on, you sportsman. Aren't you going to help yourselves? I'll never touch it. Oh. That's how you lost your hair, I suppose. Then it tells me that you have a house in Italy. Yes, yes. I see. I Jack, I know what I've got in Italy. I have a friend in Rome. Hmm? Hmm. Not the only place we have got one in, I think. And he'll go there tomorrow and close up your establishment. Yes. What? Meanwhile, you will remain here with us. Mother, dear love, do you suppose for one single second that I'm going to allow... Oh, of course, I see the whole thing now. Yes. That telegram you sent me was a trap. What? That's what it was, a trap. Now, be a good little boy and do as I tell you. Trap, that's what it was. Quiet. Trap. Shh. Trap. Quiet. Trap. Dinner is served. Good. And I'll take a little cold chicken before I retire. Allow me, Grandmama. No, keep your help for your father. He needs it. Oh, Mother dear, you broke my cigarette case. For myself, ridiculous. Absurd. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, coming, Grandpa? No, I'm not a bit hungry. Oh, I say, by the way, I want to speak to you. Uh, tell me, are you the uh, chief fellow that's been prying into my private affairs? Or is it my elder nincompoop? It came to our ears that you were squandering a fortune on your mistress in Rome. Oh, I see. I have a mistress. Uh, oh, I see. Yes. Uh, uh, whatever your weaknesses may be, my dear father, you could hardly be so ridiculous as to marry the game at your age. I see. Of course, you know, you and your brother... Perfectly appalling. Hmm. Oh, I ever became your father, I really don't know. No. Do you mind going away? Hmm? You'll be missing the suit now. Oh. Yes. 
because you're a thoroughly horrid little man. Charlie, aren't you going in to dinner? I think yeah, I'll have you now. Do you know what they say? They say they know that I've got a mistress in Rome. Oh, now they're yes. talking sin. Of course, oddly enough, you know, I, uh, I have not got one there. I'm sorry about that. Oh, mind you, I don't say for one moment that there isn't a woman there that I'm absolutely crazy about. Oh. Oh, but she is not my mistress. It's really the grand passion. Ah, um, marvellous woman. Yes. Then stick to her, Charlie, and you'll see she'll be yours. She is? I'm talking about my wife. Mm. Have you done it again? Yes. At 62? Yes. When? About two years ago. My boy. Oh, my life's an absolute paradise. It's a very good effort of yours, Charlie. Mm -hmm. No children, of course. Oh, yes. What? I, uh, I have a son. How old? Three months. At 62. A vintage here. Mm. Oh, my little boy, absolutely divine. Oh, divine. Now I understand why you've stayed away all this time. Yes, well, you see, I mean, I was terrified these people here would ruin my happiness. Oh. Well, my wife thinks, of course, that I'm only, um, 45. Yes. Oh. There seems to be no reason she should think otherwise. No. Of course, she knows that I've got um, two little boys, you know. But I've told her that one's eight and the other's twelve. Oh, dear, dear, dear. What do you suppose she'd say if she saw this lot? Supposing she knew that Henry was grown up, that he'd got a grown-up daughter, that the daughter'd got a child, and that I was a great-grandfather and she was a step-great-grandmother. I mean, I ask you. Charlie, you're in a mess. Oh, my dear fellow, I know I am, because, you see, Mother talks about um, sending Benedict to Rome tomorrow. Well, that must be stopped. Oh, well, of course it must be stopped, because, I mean, if she were to see Benedict, she'd realise for the first time that my family have never even heard of her existence, you see, and that all the letters she's been getting um, from my two little boys, uh, all spelt wrong, been uh, written by me at intervals, you see. My dear fellow, I've got to leave here tonight. I don't see how it's possible. The car's out of order. That's why we had to hire one to meet you at rest. I can't help that for a moment, dear fellow. You'll have to telephone along the road to some garage. I've got to get out of here tonight. Yes, yes, yes. I'll see what can be done. Very well. Papa. Oh, it's you. Grandmama wishes you to join her. No, I'm not a bit angry. I'll tell her. But you'll do nothing of the kind. You'll stick here and listen to me. Come here. You go and sit down. What the devil do you mean by... Meddling in my private affairs. I felt it to be my duty to do so for everybody's sake. Oh, cat's meat. There can be no doubt that you're no longer capable of looking after yourself. Hmm. Of course, you know, you don't only look insane. You are insane. This woman in Rome is ruining you. That's why we have applied to the court for a guardian to be appointed for you. Oh, what? A guardian. The law of France provides for such contingencies. My heavens! Uncle Benedict. Oh, uh, great-grandmother wants you. Certainly. Excuse me, I haven't finished my fish. I hope you'll swallow a bone. Not very good value. No, I don't think I'd borrow money to spend with him. Can I say, Grandpa? Hmm? You stick to your guns and go on living in Italy. Oh, how I wish I could live there with you. Oh, no. I don't think you'd like the way I live. Oh, yes, I know all about you. Do you? But I'm very broad-minded. Are you? I did it off quite well with your lady friend. Would you? Yeah, but quite all right. I see. <laughs> you know, you're divine. <laughs> and any girl you like, I like. Blanche! It's going to rain. Yeah, you'll be happy, Grandpa. Don't let them mess you about. Mm -hmm. And darling, if you want anybody to tell them the tale, don't forget I'm your granddaughter. Shh, quiet. Do you see, Charlie? Well, what's the news? Very bad. I've just heard your mother say that she's going to Rome tomorrow with a Benedict. Oh, then I'm off. Uh, uh, have you got a car? No, the telephone's broken down. Oh, my Lord. Well, I'll have to walk to the nearest garage. But that's five miles away. Oh, what am I to do? Can't you think of anything? Well, that's my bicycle. Spend it. Oh, you have to tell my mother that I've uh, got a bed. Yes. That I'm very tired. Yes. That I'm sound asleep. Yes. Uh, where's my hat and coat? In the hall. Where's your bicycle? In the yard. Well, uh, where am I? In the cart. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Yes, 
Pierre, Pierre, Pierre. Have I got it right, Ed? Yes. My goodness me, is that the one I learned on? Yes, that's the one, Charlie. Well, it's frightful. I, I suppose I shall remember. But anyway, it's the only way I can get out of this place. Room and place, isn't it? Come on here. I've got to get to the bag. Say, tell me, how, how long, how far have I got? How long did it take me to get there? Five miles. How can't it take me five miles? I said, how far long have I got to go? Am I, am I all right? Yes, all right. All right. Yes, all right. Yes, I'm going all right. Up, 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 up. Splendid. Oh, it's the house. It's the house. It's all right. I'm off. That's right. I'm off. I'm off. Oh, I'm all right, you silly ass. It's my birthday. I'm all right. I should be up in a minute. Up. 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 Where's Charles? Here. Where's Master Charles? He's gone to bed, madam. Gone to bed? Yes, he... He told me to tell you he was very tired. Huh. And I'll go and tuck him up. Shall, um, shall we accompany you, Grandmama? No. I'll say goodnight to your father for you. My little Charlie. No, living image of Senior Popino. Well, it wouldn't be very funny if he looked like any other gentleman. <laughs> oh, oh, Miss Well, thank goodness our lovers don't waste their time singing. Oh. You know, I think it's about time Senior Popino returned from Paris. Why? Well, four days is too long. As you say. Ah, oh, mister. I read a telegram from Signor Papino this morning. Oh? He wants me to pack his things up at once. No. He's shutting up the house tomorrow and he's going away for two months. No. Yes. So when did he come back from Paris? This morning. What can have happened? I hope he's not in trouble over any time. Why, he's not a financier, is he? <laughs> Oh, Nina, you oh, must listen Leo, to will me. Will you be quiet? I tell you, I'm in love with my husband. I shall never be in love with anyone else. Oh, but darling, he is 45 if he's a day and you... I have nothing whatever to do with it. Now, seriously, Leo, if you don't, don't behave yourself, I shall send you packing. I shouldn't like to do that. No, but Nina, please. Just for a moment, I want to talk to you. Oh, oh, Luigi, are you sure no telegram or message arrived from Signor Papino? Quite certain, Signora. I can't think why I haven't heard. The usual flowers, Signora. Oh, oh, how sweet of him from uh, Richard Emsley. Oh, the Englishman. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I can 
think of nothing but you. Look here, you're going to have a swim and you'll feel much better. But you are laughing at me. <laughs> I can't help it. You should understand what the burning fire of a Latin lover means. You are Italian yourself. No, I'm Sicilian. Well, that is worse. They are disreputable. What? I mean, they are so passionate. They are almost disreputable. Oh, are okay. they? Why do you let Bianchi sing to you? I can't help him making that noise. Well, no, let me sing to you. I'll call the police. No, but me, no, oh, you like a dear thing, go and fall in love with someone else. Signora, would you ask the gentleman not to make love to you? What? Nurse says the noise is keeping baby away. Well, I should think so. Leo, go and tell Bianchi to shut up. No, but Nina, please. Leo, I run want... along. Oh, Signora, this letter came just now from Paris. Oh, from Signor Papi, no. No, from his two little boys. Oh, Lisa, get this for coffee. Yes, Signora. Darling Mummy, how sweet of you. We have the nicest granny in the world. She lets us do whatever we like. What a sweet old lady she must be. Daddy has been roping with us ever since he arrived. We are all so happy here. Benedict was put into long trousers yesterday. <laughs> Dear little fellow, don't leave the cup of Oh, yes, Hello, Dave. How are you? I'm all right. I say, you're looking fine this morning. Has you've got the roses? Yes, thanks very much. Is your old man back yet? My young man gets back tomorrow. Not today. Yes. Yes. Good. Oh, Richard, you are a queen. Why? Because I love you. Don't make me laugh. Do you mind? No. You know, I think I should get on extraordinarily well together. But I'm sure we should. Yes, and uh, have my husband come and live with us, I suppose. No, no. Really? I like Charles awfully, but I don't think I should invite him to stay with us. Men of his age about the house have to cramp one's style, don't you think? No, I certainly do not. Carlo is a darling about the house. Well, don't call him Carlo. It sounds like a dog. Well, <laughs> oh, Charles, he doesn't like it either. He's a lucky devil. Not many fellows get medals for lovemaking at 45. Don't you believe it? Do you realize that in 15 years' time you'll be married to a man of 60? Sixty? Yes. That's something that makes you sit up and beg, isn't it? <laughs> well, sixty is a trifle. And her. Uh, Give me a cigarette. I haven't got one. Charles would have had one. Well, let me get you one. No, don't bother. I'll get one. No, please let me. Well, anyway, it's a long gallop to sixty. And by then, I don't suppose that shall be everybody's money. And in fifteen years' time, I too shall have gone fat. It's very sad for you, but why worry about tomorrow? All that matters is today. I have a beautiful baby, and a husband who couldn't tell a lie if he tried. And I'm as happy as the night is short. There's nothing he wouldn't do for me. And fancy, we've been married for two whole years, and he's never even asked me to meet his family. You don't mean that. Oh, he may be 45, but he's a marvelous man. And I think a marvelous one to look at. Well, the fact of the matter is, my husband is 45 years young and growing younger every year. Darling, I'm back. Charles, you! Oh, my darling, come here. Oh. Come here, my angel oh. face. Oh, my oh, mother, oh. Don Oh, but I didn't expect you till tomorrow, oh, darling. Oh, did I, my sweet one. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> but uh, look at you, darling. What on earth has happened? Oh, don't ask me, darling. Don't ask me. But your hat. Yes, my hat, darling. And uh, your umbrella. Yes, dear love, my umbrella, yes. Uh, your birthday present to me. Oh, there's been an accident? Yes, there was, darling. Oh, a collision? Yes, dear love. Oh, with another train? Uh, no, no, not a train, a, a mud cart. What, your train? Uh, no, my bicycle. For heaven's sake, what were you doing with a bicycle? I was riding it, darling. You? Well, you see, I had to. What, all the way from Paris? Yes, right over the Alps, yes. But uh, where were you riding a bicycle to? To Reims, darling. Well, did you fall off? Yes, I did often. You see, uh, it, it was dark and there were ditches. Oh, my poor dog. Yes, well, I'll, mm, I'll tell you all about it later. Now, mm, all about it later. You're quite all right, aren't you? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, quite, thank you. Yes, that's right. Tell me, where's the little king? He's asleep. Oh, the darling little baby. Can I go wake him? I've never heard of such a thing. Oh, well, if I... oh hello, Luigi. How are you? Oh, you're back, senor. Oh, coffee. I, I should love some coffee, darling. Oh, would you, darling? Yes, I should. Uh... Did you get my telegram? Everything is all right, senor. Good. That's right. Now, oh, Lord, look what I've done. Here you are. Now, if anybody asks for me, say I died last night. Good. Yes, that's right. 
Uh, ah, darling. Darling, you know, three days away from you seems like three years. Mm, come here. <laughs> oh, you don't mind my doing this, do you? Not a bit. Well, Richard no. doesn't mind. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not too sure about that. You, uh, you love Nina, don't you? I what, sir? Yes, of course you do. I say you're in love with Nina, aren't you? Well, as a matter of fact, if you really want to know, I am. But my dear, I'm delighted. I should be most upset if you didn't. As long as she doesn't love you, I don't mind. That's extremely decent of you. Not a bit, and I'll tell you something. When you're married, if your wife's half as pretty as Nina, you'll find me about your husband. Oh, I say, so hang it all. Oh, yes, rather, yes, rather, mm, yes. Hello, here's a coffee. Well, I think I'll push off. Yes, you won't push, that'll be good, yes. <laughs> Oh, he's at again. Hello. Is that another of them? Yes, darling. I just sent another of them to stop him. Well, dear fellows, you're another of them. You go to stop the other of them. Delighted, sir. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I say, do you know those young fellows? Do you know I often wonder? I often wonder whether I can amuse you as much as they can. Don't be silly. A pack of boys, not. Sure? Of course. Mm. <laughs> Tell me. Love me? Do I? How much? Oh, round the world and back again. Mm. Do I love you? Yes. Oh, well, don't say yes. I could say... You're so crazy about me. Yes, you're crazy about me. Oh, <laughs> darling. Come on, shut your eyes. Why? Because I've got a present for you. Oh. Come on, shut them up. Okay, if you open them before I tell you, I'll murder you. Go on, shut them. Put up your arm. No, 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 not both of them, girl. That's right. Here we are. I am the fairy godmother. Here, where's the damn clasp? Ah, there we are. There. Look at that. Oh, but how perfectly gorgeous. Like it? Oh, darling, it's too lovely. Mm -hmm. From Paris? Yes. Oh, it's divine. Mm -hmm. Thank you a million times, mm -hmm. darling. Shut up! Stop this fitful noise! You're waiting for me! You're driving us all mad! Will you be quiet? Shut up! Oh, for heaven's sake, will you please be quiet? Non, non, non voglio. Non voglio. Vai via, vai via. Darling, um, did uh, uh, anybody uh, ring me up last night? No, darling. Uh, all this this morning? No. Oh. Why? Were you expecting anyone to? No, oh, no, darling, no, no, not a bit of girl, no. Uh, no uh, strangers of, of any kind? No. Oh, well, that's all right. Why? Nothing's gone wrong, has there? Oh, no, no, my sweet one, no, rather not, no. You'd tell me if anything had, wouldn't you? Oh, you of course I would, dear love, of course I would, yes. Uh, why do you ask, darling? Well, you left for Paris at a moment's notice. You expected to be gone five days, and you've come back in three. You've smashed your hat, you've broken your umbrella. I was wondering. <laughs> yes, yes, well, of course, that was, uh, that, that was only a coincidence. Oh, Lord, look what I've done. Uh, coincidence, darling. You see, things do happen like that, in a way. And if you... Uh, would you kindly take one, my love? Oh, I beg your pardon. What a muddle I'm getting into. Uh, darling, would you like a little butter, my love, dear? Charles, you're very jumpy. Hmm? You sure you're not feeling anxious about anything? No, darling, of course I'm not. Of course I'm not. Darling, have a banana, darling. I hate bananas. I see. Yes. You know, I wouldn't mind any sort of trouble as long as I knew all about it. Wouldn't you, darling? No. Oh, well. Well, that is, of course, uh, within reason. Oh, I see. Yes. Within reason, yes, I see. Yes. I think there's only one thing I could never bring myself to forgive. What's that, darling? A lie. No, no, darling, no. If you told me a story about anything... Well, I mean, you know I wouldn't do that, don't you? Oh, I'm sure you wouldn't. Well, of course I wouldn't. No, to trust and be deceived? Dreadful. Yes, horrible, darling. What do you mean, horrible? Well, I was just having a bit of fun. I mean, you said dreadful, I said horrible. That's all yes. Yes. yes, people who lie deserve everything they get. Yes, well, nothing could be fairer than that, could it? No. What are you talking about? Nothing, my... Sweet love, would you like a little sugar, my darling? Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, I had a sweet letter from your two little boys. Yes, dear love. Benedict says he's been put into long trousers. Yes, d d darling. Um, Henry, Henry's in a sailor suit. <laughs> oh, they say you had such a time with them when you arrived. I did, darling. Oh, rather, yes, they threw darts at me and... Oh, they are a pair of little scamps, darling. Yes. Splendid. Yes. Uh, the eldest one says he's off to school in England. Yes, darling. Yes, my mother's arranged all that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Your mother seems to let the boys do exactly as they like. Yes, well, that's one of my mother's chief charms, darling. She lets everybody have their own way. Yes. Fancy. Yes. Uh, 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 tell me. What, darling? Why had you to ride a bicycle into Rand? Well, dear love, both the cars had broken down. Oh, but a bicycle in the dark. Why didn't you wait until the next day? 
Well, <laughs> you see, the, uh, uh, you see, I got a telegram from Paris, darling, to say that the doctor, the doctor, uh, could only see me the very first thing in the morning. Doctor? What doctor? Well, dear love, I didn't tell you this, but one of the real reasons I went to Paris was to uh, see a specialist. But, Charlie, you're not ill. No, I'm not, not ill. He just said to me, he said, uh, Charlie, old boy, said to me, you're, you're suffering from nerves. Oh, and are you nervous? Y yes, uh, the, the sweet one. I, I, I am very nervous, yes. But he said to me, which is true, he said to me, you'll be all right in the morning. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes. Would you like a peach, my love, dear? Well, uh, what did the doctor tell you to do? The doctor said to me, Charlie, he said, you've got to go down to the sea. Mm hmm? He said to me, you've got to go and throw yourself in the sea. Uh, 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 what he said was to go to the sea at once. Oh, Charlie, darling, you're not going to leave me again. No, my angel, indeed. I'm not so sure what I've arranged. I've arranged that you and the little king, our darling little baby, we're going away together. Charles? And where do you think we're going? I don't know. Sicily. <gasps> to see Mother? <laughs> yes, see your Mother. I love the way you say Mother. I love it. It's charming, yes. <laughs> and see your um, uncle and your drunken old aunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but how divine. When do we start? When we start? Um, um, uh, tonight. Tonight? Yes. Oh, no, that's not possible, darling. Oh, it's quite a while ago, because, I mean, I got the tickets. Oh, but I have nothing packed. Oh, well, it's all right. I mean, you don't want any clothes in Sicily. Oh, no. We can't <laughs> possibly leave until tomorrow, darling. Yes, dear love. We've got to go tonight. I tell you why. Because the, uh, the, uh, the doctor said to me, he said, if you stay in another day in Rome, might be very dangerous for you. Did he? He did. He said, most dangerous. Oh, well, then you'll have to go alone and I'll follow, because I could never get ready by this evening. Senor? Ah? Uh, yes? A telegram, senor. Oh? Oh, Luigi, get two of my light trunks and tell Lisa to pack. I'm leaving tomorrow for Sicily. Si, senor. Good Lord. <laughs> uh, who's it from, darling? Oh, nobody you know, my pet. Uh, would you like a little coffee, my love, dear? What's the matter? Nothing, darling. Why? Well, let me see. What, the telegram, my sweet one? Oh, well, I... Uh, no. Well, I don't... Uh, well, uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, I'd rather you didn't see it if you don't mind, darling. But why? Well, uh, well, of course, you want to see it, darling. Of course, there it is. <laughs> yes. From Paris, delayed in transit. They are on their way. Be careful. Devoted love, Blanche. Who is Blanche? Uh, no, nobody, darling. <laughs> what do you mean, uh, nobody? Well, I mean, there it is. <laughs> Blanche is a woman. No, darling, Blanche is a man. Do you take me for an idiot? Yes. I, I mean, no, no. I, I mean, Blanche, sweet one, stands for police. Or I should say, Blanche is the police. Oh, a woman policeman. Uh, oh, well, look here, it's no good going on like this. I mean, I've known this was going to happen. I've got to tell you the entire truth. Charles, what have you been doing? Nothing, honestly. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. This telegram, dear one, is a warning. From whom? They have started for Rome. Who have? A gang of kidnappers. Of what? Kidnappers. Did you hurt your head when you fell off that bicycle? Uh, no, dear. No, no, no. A gang of gangsters. A gang of gingham. A gang of gangsters. And that is why we've got to leave Rome tonight. But uh, who are they going to kidnap? Baby. Charles! Oh, yes, darling. Baby. That's why we've got to leave Rome before dinner. Oh, why not send for the police? It is no good sending for the police, my sweet one, because the police are afraid of these men. They know that I'm very rich, and they stick at nothing. They're an awful lot, old girl. Devoted love. What does that mean? That is a code, darling. Devoted is seven letters, you see, and it stands for Naples. Well, uh, Naples are six letters. No, no, dear one, no, not in the code. Oh, no. You see, there are, they always put two S's in, in, in Naples for me, so that I know, you see. Naples. Yes. And, and uh, love? L love is four letters. You see, that means that there are four of them. And Blanche? Blanche, uh, pronounced Blanche, where we come from, means police headquarters. Yes. And that's why we've got to go away tonight. You know, these fellas would stick at nothing. They're the most frightful crew. They might climb into my bedroom and kidnap me and baby. Oh, yes, so that's why we go away 
Tonight, I'm not going to say to you, my darling, do you suppose I'm going to say to you, will you come away? No. I command you to leave here at once. Devoted love. Gangsters, our baby. Yes. Let's settle it. We'll leave this afternoon. My darling, that's wonderful of you. Now go and pack your things, pack your things. Put in your hat and your bathing things and your shaving tackle and everything. Oh, darling, why didn't you tell me the truth before? Oh, I wish I had. Oh, Luigi, have the car ready at five o'clock. Yes. We'll dine on the train, Charles. Yes, anywhere but oh, here. Yes, sir. Come and help, help me pack my dressing case. At once. Yes, Signora. Uh, any strangers about? No, Signore. Any anybody on the telephone? No, Signore. Good. Oh, come here, here. Uh, any any strangers about? No, Signor. Anybody on the telephone? No, Signor. That's good. Hi, you! Si, Signora. It is Monsieur Popino's miller, isn't it? Si, Signora. Well, open the gate. I want to see him. Uh, but I am not permitted to admit strangers. Nonsense. I'm not a stranger. <laughs> what did he say? I regret. Uh, that's how it is, is it? Oh. Uh, 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 well, oh. Very well. No, but you cannot. It is not possible to see Monsieur oh, Pagino. My no, but yes, my no, but yes, my no, my no, my no. Signor, Signor. Yes. There is a stranger about. Is there? A lady. A lady. She just climbed over the wall. Climbed over the wall? Good Lord, I wonder if it's mother. Grandpa. You. Yes, I've arrived sooner than you expected, haven't I, Grandpa? For heaven's sake, don't call me Grandpa. You are my grandpa, aren't you? No, I'm nobody's grandpa. What? No, not in Italy, no. Aren't you glad to see me? No, I'm not a bit glad to see you, no. But I'm your own flesh and blood. I don't care whether my own stuff and flesh. Go away, go away. Oh, you stupid little devil, where are you going? Just don't call me grandpa or I'll murder you. I'm your Uncle Charlie, I'm your Uncle Charlie. Darling, have you had a couple? Well, why have you come here? Why not? All the others are on their way. What? Yes, by airliner. What, all of them coming here? Yes, they decided to make a family holiday of it. What, in Rome? Yes, and Pierre. What about Pierre? Well, Uncle Ben sacked him because he lent you his bicycle. And I was to be left behind, so I put Pierre into my plane, and here I am. I know, but why were you to be left behind? Well, I, um, I'm unmarried. It was thought improper for me to meet your little bit of good. <laughs> and they're bringing your guardian with them. What is that? Yes, the, the one from the court. See that you don't squander your money. Of course, this is the last straw. I thought I'd better let you know. My guardian. Look here, pack up your things, lock up the house, and hop with your platinum blonde. Johnny! Yes, darling? Look, I'll tell you what to do. You go off as quick as you can. Go and meet the airliner. Tell them any lies you like, but don't let any of them arrive here till tomorrow morning. All right, Uncle Charlie. I'll do anything for you. Don't. Oh, uh, well, if I... No. Uh, the, the house is not to let. <laughs> Charlie! Yes, darling? Get out as quick as you can. Go. Charlie! Yes, darling? Who are you talking to, Charles? Oh, just this little girl down and came over from Rome. Oh? She, uh, she roamed over, dear love. Well, what about? Well, she wanted a job, old girl, and I told her she wanted to be a housemaid, to a housemaid, and, and I, I said to her that we were going away, and, and, uh, will you excuse me, dear old thing, I've got to feed the birds. Yes, and, uh, I told her, I said to her, oh, Lord, what a muddle I'm in, mean. I said, if you're going away, uh, the... Oh, darling, do get packed quickly, I'm terribly worried. Yes, so am I, darling. I'm just collecting my odds and ends. Yes, I'm collecting my ends and odds, too, dear. Oh, baby's awake now. Oh, is he? The baby's awake. Well, I'll go and give him a drink, my love. Mm. Signora, signora! We could not stop her. What's the matter? We could not stop her. Couldn't stop who? An old lady. Oh. She's magnificent. She looks like a cathedral. No. Who is she? I was afraid to ask. She weighed me all aside. Then leave the luggage in the car. Yes, uh, madam. A pretty penny. This must have cost. Uh, may I inquire to whom you day? This is the house of Monsieur Popineau? Yes, it is. And you live here? Naturally. As you're obviously not a housemaid, I take it that you are, what is the modern expression, his girlfriend. His what? I am his mother. Oh, well, then at last, please. please. It would be well to remember that I am his mother. You may sit down. I may what? Sit down. As I have never been informed that my son has married again. What? I take it that I am speaking to his... Mad. You are angry. I'm at a loss to gather the object of your visit. To arrive at an understanding with you without delay. Well? How long have you been living with my son? Uh, two years, madam. Quite a long time, as these affairs go. Yes. Uh, well, you see, uh, I'm a good cook. 
That's something. Where did you meet? Uh, in Venice, among the gondolas. Ah, music and moonlight. I remember when I was young, I... Yes, uh, many women have uh, hesitated on the Grand Canal. Should I be wrong in thinking you were well-born? You would. My mother was a laundress. Very interesting. And your father? Well, uh, mother thinks he was a sailor. He never came back. The Poffinos have been champagne growers for 200 years. Champagne is another sort of aristocracy, madam, and uh, one that has blessed many marriages. Did my son run after you, or you after him? Oh, believe me, madam, I rushed after him. Well, I dare say you found a man of his age not very difficult. I do not consider 45 old. 40 what? Is that how old you think he is? Why shouldn't I? My son is 62. Sixty-two. Are you sure? I ought to be. Oddly enough, I was present at his birth. Sixty-two. As love can only be a matter of business with you, I can't blame you for getting everything you can out of him. But you've had enough and it's got to stop. Oh, so that's what you think, madam? That's what I say, mademoiselle. My grandsons have to be thought of. You know he has two boys? Yes, at uh, school. Is that what he told you? Aren't they? Aren't they at school? One is a doctor. A doctor? I shouldn't think a very good one, but that's what he is. And uh, the other? A lawyer. Not one I should consult. How old are they? Both of them over 40. Are you trying to amuse yourself at my expense, madam? I am not. I have come to make you give my son up. I am here to buy you off. Madam! You know nothing of a position between Charles and myself. Kindly leave my house. I should do nothing of the kind, unless my son comes with me. He has never disobeyed me. Come now, little pussy. There's a little boy. 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 There's If I... You've arrived, Mother. What is that? It's a child, Mother. Whose? Ours. Yours? Yes. I've had a baby without your permission. Take it away. What's that, Mother? Take it away! I was going to put it in this pram, darling. It's all right, all right, all right, darling, I'll go. It's all right. I'm terribly sorry about this, darling, but you see, I can't... Have... It's all right, dear. It's all right. I'll take it. What are you going to put it, Joe? What about it? It's your grandmother, darling. That's who it is. So you're married. I've been his wife for two years. He shall pay for being such an appalling coward. You can leave that to me, madam. He shall be well punished. Well, of course, mother, all this is a tremendous surprise. You have behaved. Put that away. Yes, mother, yes. Put that away. Oh, oh yes, 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 quite yes. Mother. You have behaved appallingly. Well, everything I did, I thought was for the best. <laughs> you know, everything. Everything. All right, all right. I'm terribly sorry I couldn't stop them. Oh, it doesn't matter now. Big Grandmama, who is this? This is Blanche. Oh, the police. Yes. I'm delighted to meet you. I should like you to know I'm all for you. And I don't mind a bit you're not being respectable. Don't you? No, I shall be fond of you because I love Grandpa. Grandpa? Yes, Grandpa. All right, you needn't announce me. Benedict, I'm sunk. Grandmama. Who is this? This is my son. The one at school? Yes. Good day, Father. I've come to... Oh, go away, go away. This way? Oh, thank you. There you are, Grandmama. Oh, la, la. Good day. Who is this? This is my other son. The one in the... In the sailor's suit. The Navy must be pleased. Oh, go away, go away. I will enter the scene. You are here before us. Come along, baby. And this? My daughter-in-law. And this? This is my other grandchild. And that? This is my great-grandchild. And uh, I suppose these are the kidnappers you were afraid of? Yes. Are there any more? Not that I know of. May I ask what relation I am to them all? Same as I am, only step... You mean that I am a... A great-grandmother, that's what you are. Great-grandmother? Yes, by marriage. 
So that's what you've made of me. Yes, you would be our relation, mademoiselle, if you were my father's wife. But as you are not. As she is. What? what? Never. Our stepmother. Married again. Oh, your father is mad. mad. At his age. Mad. Mad. Stop. This is not a monkey house. Oh, Pierre, come in. They tell me you've been sacked. Never mind, old fellow. You can stay with me. Thank you, Master Charlie. You can all go back to the hotel. I shall remain here. Are you but I came here under a misapprehension. I'll call you a power of Charles, you're a coward. You have little of my blood in your veins, my lad. <laughs> you follow your grandfather. He was a nincompoop. Why didn't you tell me? I was afraid. Did you suppose that I should never get to know the truth? I hoped so. You've lied to me for two years about every mortal thing, haven't you? Because I loved you. Because you didn't trust me. You've been ashamed of your age. And you've allowed these loves to come here and insult me. Me, your wife. Because you were afraid they'd think that I married you for your money. Oh! A very natural conclusion, no doubt. When an old man marries a young woman, that's why you're always giving me presents, wonderful jewelry. You've been paying me, paying me to be true to you. No. It's been lies, lies, lies every day we've lived together. Oh, I'm going away from here. Where? I don't know where. The only thing I do know is from now on you can go your way, and I shall go mine. <laughs> Are you, Monsieur Popinot? Fine, sir. I am your guardian. What is that? Appointed by the court. My guardian? Yes. Could I have a little pocket money? Sweetheart, come in. Oh, it's you. Oh. 
Charlie, my boy, you mustn't let all this get you down. Uh, you don't understand. My wife's leaving me. She can't divorce you because you've been mutton dressed as a lamb. Oh, let's face it, I, I've i grown old and I didn't know it. But you're not old, Charlie. My wife knows that I'm 62 and she's thrown me down the flat. Because you deceived her? No, 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 no. She said I was an old man who married a young wife. She was shocked. She'll come around. No. She said the most terrible thing to me. She didn't know how true it was. She said I gave her things because I was frightened of losing her, and she was right. Can you realize what it's like to be frightened of every attractive young man who comes near the house? I look at them and I say, I wonder if that's the fellow who's going to write finish for me. It's awful. You see, youth has so much to offer. Are you going to let them look upon you as an extinct volcano? No, I'm not. Because if they only knew it, I'm Vesuvius in eruption. Bravo, Charlie. That's the way to talk. But she doesn't love me anymore. Come in. Oh, dear. I felt I must have a little talk with you before I went to sleep. Whatever I may have said, I am devoted to Charles. And what are your intentions? You're going to leave him? Leave him? Good heavens, no. Don't you realize I'm madly in love with him? Oh, you are. But I'm going to punish him thoroughly. I'm going to keep him in suspense for a week. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My dear fellow, do not keep on barging about like it. I'm jumpy enough as it is. Be calm, Charlie, be calm. Think of Napoleon. He was always calm. Yes, I know. You didn't see him at Waterloo. Hmm. Hello, where are you taking that? I was going to get the pram pack for the journey, sir. Don't you dare take my child out of the house. What the devil are you doing? How dare you? My heavens on earth. Oh. He's wonderfully like me, isn't he? Yes, horribly. What do you mean, horribly? You know, I've been thinking things over, Charlie. If your wife wants to leave you, I should let her. Yes, well, of course, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, I do, Charlie. I've been married three times, and two of my wives left me. Didn't make me lose any sleep. Didn't it? No. As a matter of fact, I got a bit more. I see. How much longer is this game going on? What game? You behaving like this because you... Know that I'm old? Well, not altogether. You can't help that. You mean then that to you I... I am old? Well, that's not as bad as you're having pretended to be, are you? I didn't do that. Oh, you must have handed a good laugh to those who knew your age. How they must have laughed. Who at? Not only at me, at you. I see. They laughed at me. Tell me, is it true that you're going away from here tonight? Yes, at six. And then? What, tomorrow? Tomorrow is the one day none of us know anything about. Don't you know how I love you? I don't know anything. I don't care about me. Don't you realize how desperately unhappy you're making me? Oh, and you've done nothing to me, I suppose, have you? It's all your own fault. People who pretend deserve everything they get. I say, Nina, come along. Yes, we have been waiting a deuce of a time. All right, I'm coming. Come on, I'll race you to the pool. Right. Come on. <laughs> Hmm? I've just had a terrible row with Father. Oh, really? Yes. I told him he was an owl. Oh, you haven't just found that out? Where's Great Grandmama? I haven't seen you down yet. Grandpa. What? I know everything. Yes. Most young women of your age do. Great Grandmama? I've been waiting for you. No? Sit down. Sit what? Down. Is anything the matter? There's a great deal the matter. Grandpa's unhappy. He's behaved appallingly. He's behaved very well. He's told lies. Of course he has. He's a man. He's been a coward. With great respect, great grandmama, I say tripe. Oh, no, you won't. You'll listen. I'm not going to have him made miserable just because he happens to have shoved his age down a peg or two. It's all humbug. Hasn't he given his wife everything? 
His house, a fortune, jewelry, cars, even a baby. What more does she want? Doesn't she know there's a man shortage? Tell her to go and kiss Grandpa at once. You've no right to encourage her to behave so rottenly. You wicked girl. It's about time, great grandmama. You were told where to get off. Get off? What? All this bunk the family's put up with from you. Bunk? Bunk? That's what I said, bunk. You're a menace. Oh! How dare you? How dare you treat my grandpa as you have done? He's my son. That's just an accident of birth. Accident? What do you mean by accident? You presume on his gentle manners and gentle nature. You wicked girl. Yes, you do. No one has a pluck to stand up to you. So you don't know that you're a nuisance. My. We dread you. Eh? Yes, we do. I'm trying to teach... Your grandmother to suck eggs. No. I'm trying to teach her that these are pajama days. We girls wear silk undies and no stays. You may still cling to flannel petticoats and calico drawers, but we don't like them. They tickle. So I'm telling you to leave Grandpa and his wife alone. Come here. Are you going to strike me? Come here. You are the first of my children who has ever dared to attack me. I love you for it. You are a credit to the family. You have my courage. Whether you're right or wrong doesn't matter. I admire you. Kiss me. Take these. They would have been yours one day. Wear them now. Grandma, you make me ashamed. Nonsense. I'm proud of you. You're a poppin' Don't. Don't. You're not going to stand this. Let it go. <laughs> let oh, let God, you don't know to me. <laughs> My head. No, oh, God, you let it go. Let it go. What the devil are you doing by my? I love her. Oh, you do? I do. You do? I do. You do? I do. You do? I do. Did you mean that? I did. You did? I did. You did? I did. You did? I did. You did. I did. <laughs> I do, thank you. And you will tell Grandpa's wife not to leave him, won't you? No, child, I should do no such thing. Why? It'll be a waste of time. But Grandpa's so unhappy. Give me your word of honor that you won't tell Grandpa what I'm going to say to you. I promise. His wife has no intention of leaving him. What? She's pretending, punishing him. She adores him. And how long is she going to punish him? I used to keep him in the corner for an hour. She's going to keep him there a week. A week? If you see him, tell him I'm in the nursery. Yes, great grandmama. I shall never interfere with my son again. But I must make certain that they're giving his child vintage milk. Hello. Oh, hello. You'd better go and look after your grandfather. Why? Well, he's just thrown my best dressed young man into the water. <laughs> Well, Grandpa's a darling. Yes, I used to think so. Don't you now? No, I don't. You want spanking. How dare you speak to your grandmother like that? Are you going to forgive your husband? No, I'm leaving here tonight. Now, just let me put you wise, Grandma. Some other time, darling. I'm terribly sorry. I'm all wet. I must change, but I'll see you before I leave Rome. You'd better. Ha! Huh. That's the way, Charlie. Yes, you hear him gurgle as he came up? Ha! Huh. He showed them Blanche. He's nearly drowned, the Dago. Never. I think so. Kissing my wife, I said. Out. Good. Pierre, I've got something very important to tell you. Uh, Grandpa, hmm? would you kindly not listen to anything I say? Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Pierre, I'm going to tell you a secret. I gave my word of honor I wouldn't tell Grandpa. Uh, of course, Grandpa, if Pierre chooses to repeat a conversation I have with him, it's not my fault, is it? I see. You're going to do something extremely dishonorable. That is my absolute intention. Well, go on. Right. Grandpa's wife is playing him up. Charlie.
Charlie, your wife's playing you. What's that? So I hear. She's only pretending to be angry with him. She's only pretending to be angry with you. Only pretending? Only pretending. How do you know? How do I know? Great Grandma told me. Great Grandma told Blanche. She's doing all this to punish him. She's doing all this to punish you. What? She's only pretending? How long has she intended to punish me for? A week. A week, Charlie? A week? Not another hour. She loves me. She's only pretending. Oh, but it's... Ah. Pierre, if you happen to meet Grandpa, you can tell him if you like. All right. But don't let him know that I told you. Not for the world. That's Only right. Only pretending. Oh. Hello, Blanche. Grandpa. My dear, I am glad to meet you. I said, you know, I've had the most wonderful news. Have you? Yes. I don't know whether you've heard about it, but my wife's leaving me. Yes, I did hear something about it. Did you? Well, it isn't true. Isn't it? No, she's only pretending. How perfectly grand. Isn't it wonderful? Who told you? Well, uh, Pierre told me. And who told him? I think he read it in the police gazette. I... <laughs> What's your next move? Look here, you go tell the servants not to bring Nina's trunks downstairs, do you right. see? I say, you are a dear little thing. What can I do for you? Find me a nice husband. Hmm? Well, what sort of would you like? One exactly like you. Oh, no. Not as old as I am. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love boys. <laughs> I say, Pierre, come here. Look here, my wife doesn't kiss me in five minutes. I'm off. You wouldn't really leave her. Well, of course I wouldn't know. Uh... Oh, Luigi. Signor. Luigi, go get all my trunks. Which one, Signor? The whole lot of them. Bring them down here. But they're not packed, Signor. Never mind. Lock them up and put them down here. Empty? Yes, they're much lighter to carry when they're empty. Get my guns and my fishing rods, every mortal you can, and shove them over there. Si, Signor. Yes. And then make as much fuss as you possibly can. Get the servants down. The train I'm catching goes in half an hour. Here. Order me an aeroplane. Where from? The butchers. You don't really want one, do you? Well, of course I don't oh, know. Come on. That's it. Pum, diddly, um, pum, pum, pum. Flip, 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 You're singing. Ah. Was I, darling? Well, I presume you thought you were. Well, if I was, it's because I'm happy, little one. You're what? I said because I'm happy, little one. What do you mean, little one? You've never called me little one before. Ah, well, it's because I'm free at last. Free? Yes, and happy. Happy as I used to be before I met you. You can sit there and tell me you're happy after all you've done to me? Yes. Something has happened. Yes. Something wonderful has happened in the last five minutes. Has that got anything to do with your telling the servants to take my luggage back to my room? It's got everything to do with it. Because I'm not going to let you leave the house. I shall do exactly as I like. No, 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 no. I'm to blame for everything that's occurred. So it is I who am going. You? Yes. No. Yes. When? Now. Thank you. Master Charlie, the aeroplane will be ready in five minutes. Good. Aeroplane in five minutes? Yes, if it doesn't crash, yes. Well, uh, you better go and get your things. Yes, Charlie, I've got my helmet. Shall we good. take sandwiches with us? No, I don't think we need to take sandwiches, old boy, because after all, we shall be uh, supping in Paris. Supping in Paris? Oh, I'm dreadfully sorry that you two have quarreled, but you're doing the right thing in leaving her, Charlie. Yes, I'm sure I <coughs> am, yes. Uh, let me know when the aeroplane's here. Oak. What do you say? Oak. Oak. What's happened to you? Oh, the veil has been torn aside. In a flash, I have realized everything. My folly... Your youth. If I, I say, my dear fellow, do look out for my guns, do you mind? My vanity and the truth of everything you've said to me. You're leaving here tonight? Yes, as you won't forgive me, I'm going away forever. You are? Yes. You're taking the fishing rod with you? Yes, and my harpoon. Are you taking the dog, have... senor? No, the horse. The car you... is the door, senor. All right, I can't have that. Oh, you haven't said goodbye to your mother? I don't want to say goodbye to mother. Or baby? I don't want to say goodbye to baby. What? No. You don't love your own child. Well, I do in a way, but if you want to know, we've had a bit of a row. I'll set your mother. Yes, well, tell her to be quick, because I... I mean, I've got to catch a train, you know. Have you no respect for her? Remember, she's older than you are. No, she's not. Oh, I think I'll find out oh, what she is, yes. Oh. Well, Master Charlie, how are you getting on? Splendid. Is she crying yet? Not yet, old fellow, but I'll have her crying in five minutes. Don't forget there's no victory without tears. No, no, I know all about that. I see, by the way, what did you say to me just now? Oak. Oak? Well, the same to you. Oh, what do you want? I, um, I just wanted to say, sir, but I hope that when you threw Leonardo into the water, that you were not annoyed with me. Oh, not a bit. Thank you, sir. I thought very glad you'd come because they saved me writing. Oh, sir, what about? Well, look here, you sit down. I uh, don't even know that my uh, my wife's leaving me. Really? I say. Yeah, you seem rather pleased about that. Well, I... Uh, well, what, don't you've got every reason to be? Why, sir? Well, because if you want to know, my wife's leaving me on account of you. Is it possible? Well, mind you, I don't blame you about it. Don't forget for one moment, because, of course, I know that she's young enough to be my daughter, and so I'm not going to blame you that she's ceased to care for me. But, sir... 
Only yesterday she told me that she could never care for me, that she adored you. Oh, no, she was only hiding her real feelings. But here, yeah, don't you dare to tell me that after pursuing her as you have, you're going to throw her over at the last minute. Don't you dare to say that. No, sir. I'm a gentleman. Gentleman? I see. That's splendid. Now, look here, don't you let me ever hear that you've been unkind to her, or I'll break you in half. I wouldn't for the world. Yes, I see. Now, look here. Let me give you a little tiny piece of advice. Never deceive her. Never, sir. I mean, sir, if you've got any, uh, any grown-up children, sons, or anything of that kind, uh, don't hide them. No, sir. I'm a gentleman. A gentleman, I see, yes. And if you've got any grandchildren, tell her about them, and she'll forgive you. I'll keep nothing from her, sir. A gentleman. You're a gentleman, I see. That's grand. Signor? All right, I'm coming. What shall I do now, Signor? Oh, order another car for the luggage. Si, Signor. Ah, uh, what? What a fickle thing is happiness. Oh, by the way, tell me, what did you say you were? Gentlemen? Oh, yes, of course, gentlemen. Oh, yes, quite. Yes. Well, Richard, where's Charles? God! God! I think he's behaved magnificently. Well, someone must stop him. Why, he's perfectly happy about it all. Well, I'm not. Why do you pretend any longer? I'm not going to. Then kiss me. Have you been drinking? Why, I've got his permission. To do what? Anything I like. What? I love you. Oh, oh, Rosa, has uh, Signor Papino gone? I think so, Signora. The luggage is to follow in another car. Well, run out and see if you can stop it. Yes, I say, girl, what's up? I don't understand. Oh, get out of here before I have you thrown up. Why do you go on pretending? You know you love me. Get out. All right. Believe me, all he was trying to do was to make you happy. I, I, I simply don't understand. It's all very extraordinary to me. I hope. I hope. Oh. Oh, Charlie, you've not gone. No, but I'm going. Where? To Nicaragua. When? Now. No, 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 Charlie. Why, what's the matter with you? You're crying. <laughs> Don't you love me? Oh, well, I mean, I shall, of course, I shall always be fond of you, you know. I mean, like you used to. Oh, no, things have changed. <laughs> no, they haven't changed. If you love me, then I love you. Ah, it's sweet of you to pretend. <laughs> I'm not pretending anymore about anything. Do I look like a pretend? Uh, I know your tears are only tears of pity for an old man who's married a young wife. <laughs> oh, I ought never to have said that. I didn't mean it. I'm jolly glad you are old. I wish you were old. <laughs> Do you? Yes, I forgave you everything last night. Did you? Yes, I very nearly came to your room to tell you so. Fancy. I, I couldn't sleep. What a pity. Oh, darling, you're not going to dig a dig. Nick and Nick and Nick, you are you? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. But only if you come with me. What? Only if you come with me. Oh, oh, darling. Oh, I forgive you everything. Your granddaughters and your great-granddaughters and your two sons. No, not my sons, no. That's too much to expect. Oh, I should be so happy growing old with you, Charlie. Oh, my dear, you'll never be able to do that, you know. You'll never be able to catch me up. Yes, because you shall remain exactly as you are. Then I will. You know, there's an old French fable of a magic well which says that he who drinks deep enough of it to find eternal youth. Oh, well. Yes, the lips of the woman he loves. I am 62. Kiss my age away. I am 42. Now you are 22. Again. Now I am two. <laughs> <laughs> Just as you always have been, the youngest of your family. Yes. Yes. And perhaps he may not be. <laughs> <laughs>